So I've had these two Gold Zero Yeti 150s, and uh, I've had them for about 13 months, and I've used them off and on, um, probably for about two months, three months at a time, um, probably you know three, four times <clears throat> in that time period, maybe maybe a couple times a month. Um, and for the last four months, they've been on charge. They've just been plugged into the wall. Um, just charging and I recently um, unplugged them getting ready to use them for a camping trip and turn them on and they're both on 20% and no matter what I do I charge them from um, the car or solar or AC they just won't go over 20% I call goal zero and they tell me well um, do you try uh, opening up the top and um, disconnecting the battery and that resets it. I did that and there was a beep, um, charged them up the entire night, same thing. So I call up Goal Zero again and uh, they tell me, well, it looks like your batteries have gone bad. And I've told them, well, you know, these things have been on charge. They've been used regularly. They've been, they've been on charge for about three months. Um, it should work the same way a car battery does um, if you leave them on a battery tender. And they just said, well, I don't know. <laughs> and they offered to sell me um, some new batteries and uh, Goal Zero kind of charges a lot for the battery so I figured there's probably got to be a better solution so um, looking online and um, I noticed that these Goal Zeros do not use uh, deep cycle batteries which means you can't bring them um, means you should probably not bring them lower than 20% um, or it'll it'll damage the battery those batteries have a type of memory and uh, you know, uh, with a with a deep cycle battery, you can actually charge them all the way down to nothing, and then recharge them, and you won't damage the cell. And that's kind of where I found this guy. And this is this is a Vmax um, a AGM deep cycle 12 volt battery. It should be the exact same size um, as the standard Goal Zero battery. I only bought one just to check it out and if it uh, if it works out well I'll buy one for the other one and uh, I don't know what batteries they use, uh, original batteries they use, but they've got to be terrible because both these things are dead. You know they're not that old, um, they've been charged, they've been used and I've kind of been hearing a lot of reports of, of batteries just dying uh, spontaneously. So we're gonna go ahead and install this. Um, before we do that I just want to talk a little about this. I mean my whole purpose to get this was uh, kind of to use it off grid. I have a, um, I have a 1977 um, Toyota FJ40 Land Cruiser, and uh, I'll show that later in the video. And uh, I have a roof rack on top, and um, I have some uh, I have a solar panel as well. And I wanted to use these while I was camping, um, just kind of getting out of the, getting off the grid, and. Uh, and it kind of ended up with two instead of getting the Yeti 400. Um, decided to get uh, about the one Yeti 150, and there was a sale, so I just said, eh, I'll just buy another one. Uh, worked pretty good for what I needed for. I don't really need anything crazy. Um, I have a dual battery setup in my rig, so I use these for like you know cell phones, camp lights, um, iPads, and having two, it's more than enough to get you through, you know, uh, a week um, easily. Uh, you really can't use these for, for 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 anything like a fridge or anything that draws a lot of power. Um, I even hooked it up to like a fan, and uh, it kind of pulled too much, um, pulled too many watts. So uh, this thing is. So they are both. They both do work. I mean, and I've tried to. There's like some. I read online. There's like some thing where you can. <clears throat> It's mistakenly shows you that it's only at 20%. It's really not. Leave it on for half an hour, but these batteries are dead. It, it can power a cell phone, charge a cell phone um, halfway, and that's about it. The thing just dies, so it's time to uh, get these things, uh, get some new batteries in here, and uh, hopefully we'll have some better luck. So <clears throat> the tool you're going to need for this um, is one of these. Uh, you're going to need, let's see, what size? This is a hex wrench. You're gonna need a number four hex wrench. And any old wrench would do. They come off pretty easily. 
take these four bolts off the top and uh, it, it just pops off. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's go ahead and take the top off. And uh, so get your 4X wrench and let's take these bolts out. Okay, well, I don't know where the heck that thing went, but I'll find out later. two bolts and we still have two. <laughs> I'll have to find those later. Alright, let's go ahead and take the top off. Alright. And that is the old battery. And I was actually pretty surprised. Like this, there's not much to this. There's like there's like some capacitors, single circuit board, and a battery taking up pretty much the whole <clears throat> hold space and I figured it wouldn't be too hard to actually make one of these I mean you really are only paying for a battery um, with an inverter so I mean I mean it, it makes it it's a cleaner easier to use product so you know just bite the bullet and and get it so let's take off the positive comes off pretty easy well, it's supposed to come off easy let me get a screwdriver Thing off. Okay, it doesn't come off that easy. Come on. All right, let's pop this off somehow. Let's get a screwdriver in here and kind of pop it off. There we go one that's two all right so i'll put links um down below on where you can buy the battery hopefully this thing even works i'm not going to link a battery that uh doesn't power up so all right let's take this thing out and what kind of battery is it's just curious this is a rytar ev1214 all right looks pretty cheap chinese made battery didn't really expect anything better, but that's what it is. Okay, so that's that. Let's put that aside. I'm actually going to try to bring these back to life. Um, we're going to try to do that um, in the next video, but put these aside for now. Let's get the other battery. Okay, so just a little size comparison on these two batteries. So yeah, that is that is the same battery. I mean, it's the same size. It's gonna fit just fine. I was kind of worried about that, but <clears throat> looks like we're good. All right, stick this thing back in. Ah, uh, they're about the same same way too. Okay, let's put this new battery in. Okay, it's in good. Let's connect it up. Positive and negative. <clears throat> Give it a little spark. Okay, good. All right. Oh, wow. I'm actually getting a full charge. So that is a good, if you can see that <clears throat> on camera. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. So I'm registering a full charge, which is great. Okay, let's turn that off. Go ahead and put it back together. All right. I'm going to test it out and actually see if I do get um, longer runtime out of this battery because I should. The other battery looks pretty junk and pretty cheap. Um, so hopefully, 
we'll get extended one time out of that. I gotta find the two bolts that I lost under the workbench. thing I like about this you can replace the batteries and it's like super easy you don't have to like have a bunch of stuff or remove circuit boards them. Okay, that's weird. That one works on that one. That doesn't work on the other one. Yeah, this is messed up. Well, let's just say the damn thing's on there. Okay. And there you go. She want to test it out on something. Let's see if this battery is stronger than the other ones that I, the other one that I used. Let's see, what do I have to plug in? Huh. Uh, I can plug in, well, I can plug in this entire workbench, see if it powers all the lights. Let's see if that works. Look at this in. Okay. Let's see what it does. Oh, it works. Wow. Plugs in the lights. And let me move the camera up a little bit. It's kind of a mess. Sorry. Plugs the lights. iPad's working. That thing's charging. So we are good to go. All right. So I'm charging this thing. Um, this is the battery that came out of the uh, Gold Zero Yeti 150, and uh, it's at 52%. And I know, I, I don't know, it might be a futile attempt, but I'm gonna give it a, um, I'm gonna give it a try with this uh, Shoemaker Speed Charge. Um, it's been pretty good. It's been brought, it's brought some other batteries back to life. Looks like right now I'm at 53%. Um, it's not looking good because uh, I mean the battery was completely dead. It's reading 12. Um, reading 12 volts, so uh, that's not a good sign, but we'll see what happens. If I can bring this thing back, uh, then uh, we can go ahead and use it in the second goal zero. And if not, I'm just gonna order another battery. And uh, next video, we're gonna get go ahead and do some, uh, we're gonna do some tests. We're gonna see what this thing can really do. Like what can it power? What can it power? Um, how many things can you have a plugged in at one time? Really can't find any good videos that test this thing to the limits. Um, so uh, stay tuned for that. I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.